Hi y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a hard candy makeup slash Mary Kay makeup tutorial. Not but a few of the items I don't have of those brands are going to be slipped in just to help with the full face. But I'd say a good amount of the products today are Mary Kay or are hard candy. So without further ado, let's get into this. Now the first thing I like to do is take my beauty blender with my dream tint by Jane Iredell, which if which I did have a video for with me switching channels. I lost it, but this is like the most I love this is the most amazing moisturizer. And now I just take this in my beauty blender and pat it over and then rub it all in. And hi baby! And my daughter seems to think I need all of my makeup today. Thank you sweetheart. Alright. Now that that's all in, I go behind that. Where did my primer go? Oh, I grab my grab my primer. Or my daughter must have jacked my primer. But this, thankfully, the moisturizer that I use acts as a primer for my skin. So the next thing I'm gonna go in here is with my All May Smart Shade CC Cream and 200 light medium and I have found even until I get my Mary Kay that this CC cream is a like a covers like a foundation but it's lighter and it doesn't cake on as bad as normal foundations and it goes on a lot smoother so the next thing I like to do, thank you sweetie, is I like to take my Wet n Wild, like I said, most some, some products I have in here aren't going to be Hard Candy or Mary Kay, but I take my sec, my, my most favorite con co correcting palette for concealers, and I love to go use this purple under my eyes because with all of this with it being so high in Texas right now it's sometimes hard to get enough sleep so I love and then also having a toddler you have to have concealer like that's a godsend and then I take my my cover stick concealer by CoverGirl, and I go like right under that purple, or sometimes over, and that helps with just extra coverage. And now I will just blend it in. And then I will take now that that's actually set, nor some people will do their contour before they powder or powder then contour. I like to do my contour before I set it because then I find it sets it a lot better than with it. So I take my light one, I put it on here. My and then I put it on some on my forehead. I necessarily don't do it like everyone contours different, but I do it the way that works best for whatever look I'm going for. And then I take this darker color in my Wet n Wild palette. And I just use it to define my jaw, define my cheeks. And then up around my forehead. 
And then sometimes, if I'm feeling extra tired that day, I put it around my nose. And thank you, baby, but I don't need all my makeup today. I only need certain stuff. And then I take my Wet n Wild Kabuki, smaller Kabuki brush. And I make weird faces, but I it helps blend it in. Even though I put it on in a line, I blend it out so it covers. And then I take my Revlon, which I use a couple of products from every makeup line that I love. I take my Revlon Truly Naked as my puff will stay in there. And I take my same Kabuki brush and I set my concealer and my contour. So that way the only thing after I do my eye makeup is I do my blush and my bronzer. So now that that's all set. The next thing I'm going to do, now that she gives me my primer pad, is I'm going to take my NYC brown eyeshadow, and I'm going to put it, take it, and put it just over my lid. I like to do it under my eyeshadow. Because it still gives a defined look without me having to like worry about ruining my eyeshadow. And today, like I said, this is where we're going to start with the Mary Kay makeup line. I'm going to take my mineral eye color. I'm not, I'm, there is a card that normally comes with it, some of them, but I'm just going to wing it. I'm going to take this number one which is the rose gold. So that's going to be my overall eye color. And with this, a little goes a long way. So you can use that. And then set that aside and grab out my hard candy quad palette and I'm going to take this this color right here and make that my all over bottom lid color I'm, I'm working up to doing more fancy colors but if my daughter just say has therapy that day or we just have like a doc, random doctor's appointment I'll just do that and so that's the only color of this one I'm going to use. And I'm going to come back to my mineral colors and use number two right here. Where do you go? Right there, which is the truffle color. And that is going to go over the other two colors that I just put on my eye. And sorry for the noise, my daughter is sick and she's loving to play with my makeup. She's my little makeup guru in training. And then I am going to take, if I can find it under all the buried that she did, I am going to take my perfect one by CoverGirl, which is also, it's in a lighter brown. I'm going to put it underneath on my waterline. I tend to use two browns, two different color browns, because I have found one works better on the bottom, and then one works better on the top. So next, now that the oh, majority of my eye makeup is done, I'm going to do my mascara, which is my final step, with my Revlon Dramatic Definition. Sometimes I will use this. If I'm 
that so this is like my go-to this or I will use my fiber lash but I've, fiber lash is mainly like only for like going on a date night or just randomly going out somewhere And I will put a couple of coats on of this one. Just to make my eyes pop. And it may look dark on the screen, but on the thumbnail, I'm going to take outside so you'll be able to see like the whole dramatic look. And sometimes I will use an eyelash curler just for more definition if I'm using like my fiber lash or whatever. And next step that I've been loving, loving, loving by Heart Candy, is my Cheek and Balances little stick. And I've been taking it and just rubbing it on my cheekbone. Because it gives a little bit, and I've been taking my hands because it's a creamy base. I'm just rubbing it in. It gives my cheeks a little bit of color, but also gives, you'll be able to see a little more definition and brightness. And then after that, I will take my e.l.f. palette, which I love majority of their products. My e.l.f. warm bronzer palette, which I still need to get a new one. And I will put that on top of my blush just to give it a bit more pop, especially with it being the summer. And the last product that I, that I would be using is another hard candy. It's my All Glossed Up Hydrating Lip Stain in Sandcastle. It's a nudie, kind of peachy color, but it lasts, I found, longer than most other lip stains that I've chosen. And now, as promised in my hair tutorial video, I will show you all the final product of this mess and what I do to, like, oomph it and just bring it. So now that it's been there for a little bit, I'll take it down, take the bobby pin out, I will take my, again, my Aussie Mega and just scrunch and make sure to get underneath and then I'll just slip it over. And I'll take my bobby pin again with my, if I don't want my front facing pieces, and I will just pin them back. And this is the complete finished makeup. And then the hair from the previous video, which I will link down below since this one will probably go up before the hair tutorial. Now, that is it for today. I will leave the names of all the products that I use down below. If you have any questions, comments, or if you have a particular video you want to see, feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!